to Prize City as the big one to five shot Redskin goes down to defeat in the fifth race, which was the first of our televised races, the final for the two-year-old Colts on the pace. And let's take a look at the official prices here as Sunset Warrior, a mild upset there at 1320. 340 and 260 Redskin, big money place and show 220 and 210 and Maximilian Hanover pays two dollars and eighty cents to show. The final time for this one 155 and three a monster mile for the two year old. And now let's go over to Alan Kirschenbaum. I'm in the winner's circle with Bill Gale, who has done a phenomenal job guiding Sunset Warrior to a Breeders' Crown victory. We have a slight problem here in that our monitor is out, and we might not be able to go to a replay. But, Billy, this has got to be the biggest win in your career. Definitely, by far. Sunset Warrior, a very lightly raced colt coming into the race today. We're going to pick up the action on the back stretch, except that... We cannot, our monitors are out. Once again, I apologize for that. And Sunset Worry going right to the front. Billy, when you pulled him, did you really think you had a shot to win the race and beat Redskin? My horse uh, raced awful good. The first heat was really live at the wire. And we came a long ways with him. We came to race. I was going to give him a chance. Trainer Bobby McIntosh obviously had the horse sharp. Now, Redskin, when he gets around the turn and pulls three wide, did you really think you had a lot of horse left after going those fast fractions? My horse was still pretty live, and he raced awful game through the stretch. Redskin had him collared early in the stretch, and they went like a team to the wire. My colt hung tough. They're coming down the stretch, and your horse is digging in, and he's under a full drive. Billy O'Donnell is really going to work on Redskin, although he really thought he might have won. He was probably a little surprised by how tough your colt was. Were you surprised by how tough your colt was? No, I was, wasn't surprised at all. That colt in New York last week went a tremendous race and won easily. Finished live in the first heap, and uh, he didn't surprise me at all. Sunset Warrior digging in there to win the Breeders' Crown. Two-year-old Cole Pace. Congratulations to Bill Gale, trainer Bobby McIntosh, and let's go back to Dave Johnson. And Delvin Miller, the Hall of Fame driver, who is the real, the, really the harness racing ambassador of Good Road in the winner's circle, making the trophy presentation for this one. And the two-year-old Pace goes to Sunset Warrior. But we'll be back with much more action from Garden State after these messages.